I was at the game last night, fellas. I was not impressed with what I saw. It's just a regular season game. I get it. Bradley Beal put on the show. Phoenix is something to think about when the three of them are on the court, especially if Bradley Beal <clears throat> is balling like that. You, you, you know how I feel about Devin Booker. I mean, this brother is just, he is something special. And so he, the, he and Bradley Beal were taking turns scorching the Los Angeles Lakers. LeBron James didn't seem, seemed a bit lethargic last night. The same with Anthony Davis. But you expect that to happen when you're in your 21st uh, season in the league and you just turned 39 years of age. And I'm looking at the rest of your guys, and I'm like, where the hell are they? They're non-existent. And I, and, I, and I said I was joking around with Kendrick uh, last week on NBA Countdown. Actually, this week on NBA Countdown, I'm talking about you take these cats out to L.A., you drive them around. You show them, make sure the, 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 the sun is shining, the weather's nice, and you drive them around. You be like, you want to be here? Because you're about to be up out of here. Y'all don't start playing and acting like you have a damn pulse. The Lakers do not look good. They're not impressive. They clearly are going to be looking to make a move. I'll leave you two to talk about that. But in the end, I will tell you that I'm growing very, very concerned. It's a bad situation in Los Angeles with the Lakers right now. Make no mistake about it. And without question, I don't give a damn about their victory over the Clippers uh, over a week ago. The Clippers are the better team in Los Angeles. That is an easy, easy thing to say. Yeah.